So on a Mac, I'm just going to open up this folder. Now, if you open to whatever empty folder that you're going to put your application in on PC, that is just fine. Uh, you'll get up the folder, though. And then you're going to open a terminal inside of that folder. Now, for the command to actually install Create React App, what you're going to do is you're going to type in mpx create react app with a hyphen in between each step. Then you're going to type in the name of the React app that you're wanting to build. Now, I typically try to stay with all lowercase letters when I do this. Uh, there are a few parameters that React prefers when it comes to naming conventions, but uh, if you do all lowercase letters, usually you're going to be okay. So I'm just going to put in test and hit enter. Now, what this will do is it will install all of the things in this new folder it just created and uh, all the things that it needs in order for this application to run. Uh, the very first thing you see is package.json there. Now, another very important thing about this is it creates a Git repository. So that Git init command that you would normally use is already done. You don't need to do it. It also creates you a nice Git ignore here, which is going to ignore those node modules and all these other types of files here. So now you can see we're done. Uh, it has given us a file folder here with SRC. We've got our app.css, our app.js, and all this. So the steps that we're going to take here are going to clear out the default stuff. So the very first thing I want to do is go to this index.css, and I'm just going to delete everything in this file. Then I'm going to go to the app.css, and I'm going to delete all that as well. That gets rid of all the standard React code that is in there uh, as far as stylings go, which means you won't have any default padding or margin or anything like that anymore. Um, then I'm going to go to my app.js, and inside of here, I'm going to clear out everything between these divs, and I'm going to just put a basic React fragment in here. now. A little word about these fragments. This is shorthand for creating a fragment like this. Hold on, my image is wanting to help me here. So this is just to let React know that we're doing something here. Uh, that this we want this whole thing returned now since we're not importing react up here it wants us to so we'll do import react from react and then it fixes it but if you want to use the shorthand version of this uh, you can feel free to um, the only change is that it's empty instead so it just looks like an empty tag and typically you'll want to put these right at the beginning and right at the end of your return statement here so now um, since react likes to only have one thing returned we'll have that set up um, from there i will get rid of uh, a couple of files in this public folder so i'll leave the favicon if you want to put your own favicon in you can do that at any point um, the favicon image is the image that goes with the little tab when you're in the web browser. Uh, it's not super important here. So I'll take these two images here, these PNGs, and I'll delete those. Now, um, I'll go into my index.js here, and you can choose whether or not you want to leave the report web vitals in. But if you get rid of it here, you have to get rid of this where it calls it and you'll need to get rid of this report web vitals file here now this logo.svg is the react logo you can go on and delete that so now we have got this back to just a basic default react app 
Now, the only thing you ever need to do in this index.html, or for the most part, is the title here. This title where it says React App is the title that's going to pop up for your application in the tab in the browser. So if you want it to say whatever your application's name is, usually that's a good bet because since these are single page applications, uh, that'll be what's up there regardless of where they are in your application. So overall, it's pretty quick to get one of these started using this. Now, Create React App is no longer being supported. So uh, in the process of this, you're able to build it out still. Uh, but it is not great for a production build. The reason we still use it is because it is fantastic for teaching how React apps operate, um, your props and state and importing components and all of those types of things all still work exactly the same, whether you're using Create React App or another way to start the React application. Hopefully this will give you a little bit of insight into how to do this quickly or at least some troubleshooting, an example of how it's done.